Technical Veterinary Learning Channel Honored by Professor Ahmed Mamdouh Sharif, Professor of Epidemiology and Infectious Diseases, the ex-head of the Department of Veterinary Medicine, the ex-vice dean of Faculty of Veterinary Medicine, Bani Suif University, Egypt, presents today Continuity of the series of epidemiology. We will explain, discuss, and give several examples in this video about the risk factors, disease, timeline of natural disease occurrence, and seasonal diseases. Risk factors as animals and or humans, pathogenic genome, environmental cases as locality and seasons, all of them in epidemiology known as a risk factor, which is a variable associated with an increased risk of disease or infection. Determinant is often used as another synonym of risk factors due to a lack of harmonization across several epidemiological disciplines. In its more widely accepted scientific meaning, in epidemiology, risk factor and determinants are the same for uh, uh, phases for the one coin. Determinant specific to community health policy is a health risk that is general, abstract, pertain to inequalities and is difficult for an individual to control. For examples, occurrence of four epidemics from lumpy skin disease in Egypt at years of 1989, 2006, 2012, and 2018 due to several risk factors or due to the several determinants like lack of community knowledge and education of owners, lack of vaccination shot that cover all the number of the cattle in the country, and reporting of several cases of vaccination failure during massive vaccination of animals all over the country. So, several single cases were reported to occur between the four epidemics leads to lumpy skin disease infection now in Egypt is an endemic. So, all of uh, the latter act as risk factor, maintain and continue occurrence of the disease in a region. Disease is a Latin word, morbus, means absence of health signs. This picture of a calf infected by warts as a viral disease of skin in ruminant. This means that absence of the health signs of skin and a beer of a morbus or a disease naming warts. Disease, Latin words of morbus, in humans means that a physiological or psychological dysfunction. This picture showing high temperature with flu like. That means that this person feel that he is catching corona and so psychological dysfunction in his brain taking place through his sight. The timeline of natural history of disease. Natural history of disease refers to the progression of a disease processes in an individual or animals over a time in the absence of treatment or proper control. For example, untreated infection with HIV causes a spectrum of clinical problems beginning at the time of seroconversion, primary 
HIV and terminating with AIDS disease and usually deaths. It is now recognized that it takes 10 years or more for AIDS to develop after the first seroconversion case. The other example is the COVID-19 pandemic. Appearance of newly strain of the coronavirus as SARS-CoV-2 in Wuhan zone in China at late of November and the beginning of December 2018 and due to lack of knowledge about the characterization of this virus, it make local epidemic in that country. But due to lack of information, economical and political reasons, delaying an announcement about the infection by WHO as pandemic of corona cause the global disaster now a days. So between the beginning and the primary corona case and the pandemic it is a time. So the world will suffer for several years from now from the reflection of SARS-CoV-2. Factors affect on the natural history of disease. Biological factor, biological and genetic determinant of health such as age, sex, tuberculosis status, brucellosis status, HIV status, family history, breed history of the disease, affect occurrence and health treatment and or control of every disease. Geographical factor as an effect part on the natural history of disease, geographical location affect through spatial location plays may, uh, a very important role in shape of environment as well as other health effect. For examples, locating health care facilities in rich country give more support to personalities than poor countries. Presence of veterinary research and high tech give more support for animal productivity. Nutritional factor that affect health as examples of deficiencies or excess of vitamins, increases or decreases of diet or animal feeds will lead to eating disorders as it is says. Meteorological factor affect on the natural history of the disease through whether either low or high temperature, humidity either low or high will affect in the occurrence and act as an important risk factors for occurrence control treatment of different diseases. Cultural factor including motivational culture, cultural performance, cultural language, cultural education, religious, ethics and values, and social organization affect dramatically by increasing or decreasing occurrence of different diseases. Rest of factors affecting on the natural history of the disease, religious and religious groups all over the world act as either supportive or disapportive to health of the man and health of animals according to their thoughts. So trying to change the thoughts of them to help progression 
of health of man and animals. Behavioral factor. Several behaviors that exist a strong influence on the health of animals or human, including accepting vaccination of animal, visiting two different veterinarians or physicians for treatment, tobacco addiction, alcohol consumption, physical activity. All of them are behavioral thoughts of persons. Economic factor play an important role between rich countries and poor countries. And this is noted in the last epidemic of Corona. In rich countries such as Germany, the mortality rate reached to 0.1%, but in poor countries it may reach to 7 and 6%. So economic level act as an important factor for natural history of the disease. Historical development of public health and infectious diseases for animals and the human which began in ancient time emphasis how various concepts have evolved as a measure like of leprosy and quarantine value. This is noted in African poor countries for control of different diseases such, such as Ebola, malaria, contagious bovine pneumonia, and lumpy skin disease. Political factors and for governmental policies and administrative practices can have a great impact on health and veterinary control and the treatment program through increasing the budget and support for proper control and treatment of different diseases in the populations. Technological factors play an a role in medication control theories about diseases and this is found between 18th, 19th, 20th and the 21st century that global cooperation still need for support between high-tech countries and low-tech countries as control of a disease in its primary origin, treatment of a disease in its primary origin will help whole world from disasters such as influenza pandemic at 1817 or influenza pandemic at 1918 and corona pandemic at 2020. This diagram will be used to explain the process of timeline of natural history of the disease. The process began with appropriate exposure or by accumulation of different risk factors that sufficient for the disease process to begin in a susceptible host. For an infectious disease, the exposure is a pathogenic microorganism. For cancer, the exposure may be tobacco smoke or another determinant that promotes a process such as estrogen for endometrial cancer. So, a stage of susceptibility is explain the availability of susceptible host for occurrence and affected by different risk factors. The other stage begin with exposure to 
the different examples as smoke or pathogenic microorganism or hormonal increases. After the disease process have been triggered, pathological changes then occur, but without appearance of any signs or symptoms of the disease. This stage is the stage of subclinical disease. It extends from the time of exposure until onset of the symptoms. This time is usually called the incubation period for infectious diseases and latency for chronic diseases. Incubation period as an example for equine influenza take about two weeks and for prosolosis as a chronic disease take about one and a half or two years. For cancers in men, it may be lifelong, reach to 50, 40, or 60 years to appear. During this stage, the disease is said to be asymptomatic, no symptoms or inapparent. This period may be a brief as a second for hypersensitivity and toxic reaction to as long as decades for certain chronic disease. This example is clear with Streptococcus equi infection. At the end of the disease, there is hypersensitivity occur to the animal. Even for a single disease, the characteristic incubation period has a range. For human, typical incubation period for hepatitis A is longer as 7 weeks. Although the disease is not apparent during the incubation period, some pathological changes occur in infected or affected animal or person and could be detected only with laboratory radio, uh, radiology or screening methods. Most screening programs attempted to identify the disease process during this phase of, each, of its natural history, such as single intradermal test for detection of tuberculosed animal, Rosbingel test for detection of brucellosed animals. Since intervention at this early stage is likely to be more effective than treatment given after the disease has progressed or control intervention at this early stages after detection of positive cases of brucellosis or positive cases of tuberculosis is more efficient than still the disease make a mess in its place. The onset of symptoms marks the transition from subclinical to clinical disease. Most diagnoses are more made during the stage of clinical diseases. In some animals and people, however, the disease process may never progress to clinical apparent illness. In others, the disease process may result in illness, such as during tuberculosis, the disease process and affect most of the organs in the animal, it take about two years. Cancers in human take more than 40 to 60 years to appear. So the disease here is clinically uh, inapparent but the pathological changes occur inside the animal or person. The disease processes may result in illness that ranges from mild to severe or fatal cases. This range is called the spectrum of the disease. Ultimately, the disease process ends either in recovery or disability or deaths. 
For an infectious agent, infectivity refers to the proportion of exposed animals or persons who become infected. Pathogenicity refers to the proportion of infected individuals, either animal or persons, who develop clinically apparent disease. Virulence refers to the proportion of clinically apparent cases that be severe or fatal. Because a spectrum of disease can include asymptomatic and mild cases, the cases of illness diagnosed by clinicians or veterinarians in the community often represent only the tip of iceberg. Many additional cases may be to be early to diagnosis or may never progress to the clinical stage. Unfortunately, affected persons or animals with an apparent or undiagnosed infections may nonetheless be able to transmit infection to others. Such persons who are infectious but have subclinical disease or an apparent infection persons with coronavirus can transmit the virus for about 37 days. Measles and hepatitis A and several other diseases become infected within few days. Tuberculosis take long time until opening of the sequestrum in the lung of affected animal and this may take one year or more. Appearance of brucellosis and infection to another animals it take the time of animal to come uh, in puberty and then pregnant by means that appearance of the procella organism again after its entrance in the animal it take about two years however carriers may also be persons or animals who appear to have recovered from their clinical disease but remain infective the challenge to public health and to veterinary medicine workers is that their uh, carriers as coronavirus infection in the medical staff is the higher than the other person. Procellosis between veterinarians is higher than the normal persons in the community. Work in tuberculosis farm is more dangerous for veterinarians than work in tuberculosis hospital. We explained before in the chart of timeline of natural history of the disease, subclinical disease occur by exposure of susceptible hosts to the disease agents without showing any clinical symptoms but showing pathological it changes and physiological it changes and this could be detected only by diagnostic tests an excellent example for subclinical disease is the SARS-CoV-2 subclinical disease in a person where the virus present in the bloodstream of patients during incubation period and viral discharges for 48 hours before symptoms appear. Another important example in veterinary medicine is the rabies disease where viral discharges in the saliva for a week before clinical symptoms appearance in animals. Seasonal diseases are the diseases that occur or appear in a season more than others due to different temperature, humidity air winds and this related to certain season with periodic fluctuation in its incidence 
Examples in animals are blood parasites such as Babesiosis, Siluriosis, Rickettsial diseases such as Anaplasmosis, foot and mouth disease, lumpy skin disease, and etc. In human, measles, diphtheria, chickenpox, rotavirus, malaria are an excellent examples. A better understanding of seasonal infectious disease, outbreak and the persistence is likely to result in a better understanding of the optimal control strategies. However, it's also important to expect, expect consider the interaction of control strategies themselves with seasonal dynamics. In the case of plus vaccination, we have shown the importance of considering the limiting of immunization days. These considerations extend to programs with periodic mass administration of vaccines such as those for foot, mouth, foot and mouth diseases as well as lumpy skin diseases. Also, application programs for massive administration of antibiotics for seasonal infections of ocular chlamydia. In the case, however, the intervention results in abrupt periodic changes in the number of infected or diseased animals rather than susceptible individuals or animals, and the optimal time for treatment or control may differ from that for proper vaccination or treatment that linked to the optimal season. This is an excellent example for seasonal diseases, papesiosis, which give the clinical symptoms as red urine, emaciation, yellow coloration of mucous membrane of the eye and vagina. Papesiosis notes in temperate and some temperate area occurrence in the season of tick and other hematogenous insects become increase in the number. This usually occur in the early spring and summer. So Babesiosis usually linked to summer or spring seasons. An excellent example for human seasonal disease is occurrence of flu in autumn and winter. So vaccination against them began during September. Factors affecting on periodic fluctuation of seasonal diseases. There are five factors. Number one, it changes in the dynasty of the host. Number two, management plans. Number three, survival of infectious agents. Number four, vector dynamics. And the last one is the ecological factors. It changes in the dynasty of the host. Overpopulation of different animals or human in certain place will lead to occurrence of diseases during school time and due to dynasty of a children in the same place a chicken box measles and maybe tuberculosis are diseases of overpopulation in animals pastorellosis bovine respiratory disease complex E. coli and tritis rate increase and tuberculosis are a diseases of overpopulation. Management plans play an important role in seasonal diseases where adequate space and plenty forage for dairy cattle increase their milk productivity. Also, application of different hygienic condition 
and prevent of mastitis well increased in adequate space and adequate number of cattle husbandry. Survival of infectious agent by means that how long does the microbes last us in the nature? The examples here is for SARS-CoV-2 survive on the surfaces. As it is all in the air, it survived for about three hours. On the copper surfaces, it survived for four hours. On cardboard, it lives for 24 hours. On plastic sheets, it survived for two to three days. On a stainless steel sheet, it survived for two to three days. And the lung, the presence of any microorganism in the nature, means that increased number of animals or humans that take the infection, and vice versa. Vector dynamics. The excellent example is transmission cycle of equine encephalitis viruses through and by insect vector as culex mosquitoes where the reservoir hosts are birds and it take and give the virus to the mosquito through insect blood meal. This insect blood meal as a hematogenous insect, accidentally give the virus to the human and the equines in the same place. So, the time of spreading of mosquitoes during spring, during summer, beside pools of water and rivers, and in any hygienic places, will increase the rate of equine encephalitis infection. Ecological factors. Life cycle of liver flock is an excellent example for the effect of ecological factor in distribution of fasciolases, where metacercaria present on the grasses that taken by the cattle, then the eggs shed 8 to 12 weeks after infection in pools of water, humid soil, and on the shore of rivers, these eggs will change it in the water into meracidium, and then in the snail it changed it into cercaria, and then on the grasses again it will change it into metacercaria. So, presence of pools of water, rivers, or high humid areas, as well as presence of the snail, act as ecologically risk factors for fasciolases. An excellent example for ecological factor is the affection of pollution on animal and human health, where Pollution leads to reproductive defect, respiratory defect, neurological effects, birth defects, cancers, and other defects and health hazards in the areas of pollution. Ecological factor can also be explained through this schematic drawing of endemic and the epidemic transmission cycles of eastern equine viral encephalitis, western equine viral encephalitis, and Venezuelan equine encephalitis viruses, as the dominant here is mosquitoes, as well as rats and wild animals. So mosquitoes, birds, and wild animals act as reservoirs and transmitted vector of the virus accidentally 
to human and equines that live in the same place. So, any place with these vectors and reservoirs will be a suspicious for occurrence of latter diseases either in man or equine. Epidemiology series to be continued. Please subscribe the channel to reach to the most important informations and applications of the epidemiology in your life.